tired of seeing the bullshit. First, there is no fucking thing called thin privilege. It doesn't exist. We are so tired of hearing about thin privilege. Here's our take on it. If you fucking fatties don't like being fat, then get up off your lazy fucking asses and do something about it. Like our husband did. That's right. Don't give us your excuses of bad genetics, body type, this and that, and every other excuse for your lazy shit. Plain and simple. And do you know why we're going off today? Because of our personal experiences and what we've seen in the past with these so-called fatties who want to bitch about thin privilege. So let's get something straight. First, we have no prejudice to people who are obese or overweight. Our husband just spent the past year going through a very difficult time in his life. And yes, he lost over 200 pounds in a year because he worked his ass off to do it. He didn't make excuses. He didn't fucking cry, baby. He got his ass up and did it because he knew what the consequences were if he didn't. And here's what we see in day-to-day -day life from these fatties who want to sit here and cry baby about their pathetic fucking existence. First, because you're a gluttonous pig, everyone else shouldn't have to placate your disgusting habits. Number two, if you don't like your predicament, then quit fucking eating and lose some fucking weight. And anybody who wants to sit here and talk about the genetics, the health problems, well, guess what? All your fucking problems are due to your gluttonous behavior and your bad habits. Your genetics didn't play a factor. Your fucking, your excuses don't play a factor. That's all they are. They're fucking excuses. Because let's explain our experiences, everyone. We went to the store the Winn-Dixie that is about a mile down the street from our house. We were there one day. These two obese, grotesque, fat cunts were walking in the front door about 20 feet in front of us. A homeless man who was clearly malnourished, who clearly needed to eat, stopped and asked these two people, these two bitches, if he could get some food. He didn't ask for money. He didn't ask for alcohol. He didn't ask for anything but fucking food. You know what these two fat whores did, these fucking cows? They looked at him, scoffed at him, told him no, and then proceeded to walk in the store and shop. He stopped us and asked us the same question. And we said, absolutely. Would you like to walk in with us, pick some stuff out? We'll buy your food. You can walk in the store with us. No problem. He's like, no, no, no. Just anything would be good. We're like, yeah, personal preference. Is there anything you want? Any type of beverages? You know, what do you want? He's like, just anything. So we went in and we grabbed him a week's supply of canned soups and bottled waters to make sure he had food. We were trying to get the most out of our money to get him as much as possible. So we stocked up on canned soups and we stocked up on bottled waters. And it was about a week's worth of food. And while we were in the store, we walked around and we followed these two fat cows and watched what they did. They clearly could afford to miss a meal where this man really needed one. They went around and bought every processed, packaged, shit, junk, garbage food you could find. There were no fruits, no vegetables, nothing to be prepared at home. Everything was packaged and processed. And let's not forget the chips, the sodas, all the junk food they had in their cart. And let's not forget about how they had to stop at the bakery for their fucking donuts and cakes. But they couldn't afford to get this man. And they filled up their cart. And they couldn't take time out to buy him something to eat. And there was a day where our other half had to go to Amstop to get a money order to send to our daughter. Because we didn't have automatic trans banking transfer set up with her account yet. So we had to go to Amscot to get a money order to send it to her. The quickest route to get funds to her at that time. And he was walking in to the Amscot to get the money order for our daughter. And this fucking fat Latina bitch with six kids deep with her fucking minivan full of we already knew EBT food. So first, she ain't even paying for it. She's a fucking parasite leech taking everybody else's shit as free handouts. And someone standing there, another homeless man in front of our other half, asked her if she could help him out with food because her, the back of her van was loaded with groceries. She looked at him, gave him the nastiest fucking look, mocked him, and proceeded to tell him no. And then got her fucking car, her minivan, her 
fat ass plopping in the seat with her six fucking cunt droppings in tow and told that man to go fuck himself. Our other half was pissed, but being a man, he couldn't say anything to this woman because we, he and us both knew what would have happened. We weren't there. He told us about it when he got home. Then we can go to Golden Corral to eat with our family, everyone. And you know what we see? Fat, gelatinous pigs who will sit there and they will take enough food for 20 people. And you know what we saw? This fucking fat, 1,000-pound 2,000 pound family of fucking obese fucking assholes who wanted to sit there and gorge themselves. You know what they did? They had one of those huge pans sitting up there. The family went up and cleaned out the entire fucking pan, a fresh pan of fried chicken. They went and took it all to their fucking table, sat down, then went back up and started bitching to the fucking staff how there wasn't enough food out. It's disgusting behavior. And these are just three experiences of what we see with these fucking fat asses on any given day. Your fucking problems aren't anything but your fucking problems. You created them. The medicines you choose to take, the shit food you choose to eat, your lazy lifestyle, it all plays a factor. Guess what? If you fucking shitty fucking sows want a bitch, don't expect people to get up and do shit for you unless you're willing to do it for yourself. Because guess what? You put yourself in that hard-ass position. Now you've got to bust your ass to get out of it. And if you don't want to, that's no one else's fucking problem but yours. Because guess what? The body is fully capable of healing itself when you understand how it works and you know how to make it work properly. But see, all you fat asses won't give up your fucking gluttony and stop eating to do that. Because did you know when you stop eating, after a few days, the body goes into autophagy, which is a healing process. And food is devoid of that process. The body, when you quit eating, starts to heal. But see, none of you fatties want to do that. You want to eat every couple hours because you can't go without your food. You all want to talk about how you're excluded from athletics? Well, maybe if you weren't a fucking gelatinous fat ass, you could actually get up and bounce the fucking basketball and run down the fucking court. Because guess what? We bust our ass to stay in shape because if we don't, we balloon like a fucking cow. If we started eating like all of you, we'd be 600 pounds by next year. We bust our ass to stay in shape. So you fucking fatties out there who want to complain, shut your fucking pie holes quit fucking eating and do something about it. Because like we said, we have no prejudice to over overweight people or even obese people because our husband just spent the past year losing 200 pounds because he got to a point to where he was morbidly obese and we didn't know how long he would live. And he didn't want that. He wanted to live for his son and for his family. And he did what none of you can fucking do. So any of you fucking fatties, you fucking gluttonous pigs out there who want to talk shit, Fuck you. We've got firsthand evidence right here that your shit is pathetic, weak shit, and nothing more. And do you know why we're going off on this today? Because you fucking fatties need to hear it. You need to hear your disgusting behavior isn't everyone else's fucking problem. It's your problem, and fucking deal with it. Maybe you shouldn't have taken all those meds. Maybe you should get your fat ass up and do something. Maybe you should quit fucking eating the snack cakes and the fucking Swiss cake rolls. Maybe quit eating the fucking pizzas and processed food. Actually, quit eating and go to a healthy diet. And it sucks. But guess what? If you gave a fuck, you'd make the effort. And you know what? You aren't getting any excuses in this house. And none of you are going to come here and cry, baby. We have no problems with someone who is obese or overweight. And they acknowledge that and admit it and realize that they need to do something. We will never fault someone for that. Now, you fucking fat, grotesque, gluttonous pig sows out there who want to sit there and balloon up to 600 pounds, guess what? And then you want everybody else to cater to your shit because it's not fair. Fuck you. Life ain't fair. Deal with it. We see too much crybaby shit in the world, everyone, and it's fucking pathetic. We don't feel sorry for any of you weak fucking pussies out there who don't want to get up and do for yourself. Because guess what? The weak die off, the strong survive. That is nature. That is how it works. And if you aren't one of the strong, you are going to die off as one of the weak. Because how many of you in shit at the van with your 500, 400 pounds, how far do you think you're going to get? And how long do you think you're going to live when you can't even fucking move around? Most of you fatties can't even run to catch someone like us that pisses you off because you can't do shit. 
you're out of shape, you're already dead and you don't even know it. But you want to sit here and cry, baby, and ask everyone to placate and cater to your shit? How about you get up off your lazy asses and fucking do something about it for once? Like our husband did. He didn't cry, baby. He didn't bitch and he didn't make excuses. He got his ass up and it was harder than fuck for him to do and he did it. So you fatties get no fucking play and sympathy from us. We bust our ass to keep our health and to keep our body in prime optimal condition. So you ain't got no room to bitch. Plain and simple. We wanted to go off on this today because we're tired of seeing it. All you fucking fatties need to be shaved. You all need to be put in the fucking dirt where you belong. You need to be shunned. You need to be shamed. And you need to be made to feel like a piece of shit. Why? Because if you realize it's not acceptable, maybe you won't fucking do it. And if you don't want to get up off your lazy ass and do anything about it, then you deserve a fucking coffin because that's where you're going to end up. And you have no one to fucking cry, no one to blame, and no one to bitch about when you put yourself there early because you were too fucking gluttonous and selfish. Like the pig you are. You all need to hear what you are in truth. Without the candy coating, without the sugar coating, without placating to your safe spaces and your personal feelings. Well, you need your fucking feelings hurt. Get over it. Because guess what? Life sucks. Suck it up. Deal with it. Eat that shit and like it and grow from it. Like we tell people all the time. Because guess what? You think this world gave us any free handouts? Fuck no. It works constantly to kick the dog fuck out of us. You know what? We never gave up. You all gave up and rolled over and fucking died. Who the fuck do you think you're going to get sympathy from with that shit? You don't get sympathy for being a weak pussy. You get laughed at and stomped on by the world because that's what you deserve. If you're not willing to stand up for yourself, no one else is standing up for you. You haven't earned it. So when we look at all of this going down, it's fucking pathetic, everyone. And we just, today was the wrong day for this shit because we don't have tolerance for it. We don't accept excuses. And we're tired of being dogged the fuck out. And it's okay. But it, oh, somebody says something to you. Oh, that's not right. Fuck your backwards, upside down existence. Everything here is reversed. You all now see good as evil. And evil is good. And you're fucked up. And you all need to have your shit stumped in the fucking dirt for being the pussy bitches you are. Because it's real simple. If you fucking fat cows out there don't like it, then get up off your ass and do something about it. People shouldn't have to accommodate your medical expenses because you're a lazy fuckhead. People shouldn't have to give up. You shouldn't get two seats for the price of one on an airplane because you're a lazy fat ass. Cars, amusement parks, helicopters, they don't need to be accommodated for you fucking fatties. When quite frankly, you should be accommodating your shit to respect others. We don't put our shit on you, so don't put your shit on others. That's not how it works. So maybe when you fatties get tired of being shamed and being shown how pathetic you are, maybe you'll quit. And we're sorry about this. Oh, don't drive people to suicide. Fuck that. If you're weak enough, fuck you. That's what you get. Either stand the fuck up or shut the fuck up. But either way, you fucking gelatinous cows don't get to sit out here and chew your cud and go, we've seen too many of you entitled pigs try to Make something out of your bullshit that isn't shit. Sorry, you are not going to get any sympathy from here because you're a lazy fuck. Get your ass up and do. Like we said, what we've seen our other half go through this past year, none of you fucking obese piggish cows that are lazy have anything to say about your fucking pathetic existence. And if you've got yourself stuck on meds, if you got addicted to your bad food habits and all your other gluttonous shit, well, guess what? That's your fucking problem. So now you deal with it. And guess what? The rest of us in society don't need to pay for your fucking mistakes because you're stupid. That's your price to pay, not ours. And that includes the money. You fuck yourself up, you deal with it. It's not our fucking problem to carry your weight because you can't carry your own weight. So think about that the next time you fatties out there want to talk about thin privilege. You know what? There is no fucking thin privilege. The reason why we can do what you can't is because we're not a fat cow like you. That's right. We actually had enough decency and respect for ourselves to take care of ourselves. Whereas you fucking assholes decided to just let yourself go and be gluttonous pigs and then want everybody to fucking placate your bullshit. It don't work like that. We're tired of seeing this politically correct, oh, let's be polite. No, fuck 
you're polite. You all need to be fucking shamed until you fucking cry, until you break, until you are so fucking just appalled and upset that you just don't cry. You all need to be crying your fucking eyes out. You need to be shamed to within an inch of your life for the bullshit you fucking pull. Because you fucking bottom feeders are exactly why this place is fucked up because you're backwards, plain and simple. So those of us who are responsible and are accountable for our own existence and we do hold ourselves accountable for everything we do and don't accept excuses, understand why we don't accept yours either because it's bullshit. We sit here and we see these fucking videos about fucking fat shaming and thin privilege and then the baddies want to come out and talk shit about the fucking skinny people, but oh, don't let a skinny person talk shit about the fucking fatties out there. As we said, for those out there who are obese, who are overweight, and they know it, and they want to do something about it, we would bend over backwards to guide them on the right path and show them everything they need to know to make those changes, and we would have infinite motivation and happiness for them to see them succeed. But the majority of you fat pigs, you don't want better. You just want people to placate you, and we don't work that way. Quite frankly, we'll fucking laugh at you. How many videos have we seen where fucking fat people get knocked over and they can't even get up? And you all think you're going to do what? You can't do shit. That's your own problem. So don't expect other people to fucking placate you and carry your 500-pound ass around in a wheelchair. Maybe you should have thought about that before you put yourself in that position. And like you said, like we said, you would be getting this from us if you weren't fucking backwards in your thinking and you weren't fucking attacking skinny people for something they didn't do to you. Don't take your bullshit and put it on others. Like we said, we have no problem with obese people or overweight people who accept it and understand their truth and they either accept it or they do something about it. And we have respect for those who don't put their shit on others. But you fucking sows out there who want to put your shit on others and expect everyone to fucking placate you. Don't think so. All you're going to get from souls like us is two fingers and we're going to tell you to go fuck yourself because that's what you get for being a gluttonous pig. Well, maybe you shouldn't have fucking taken temptation, the seven deadly sins. Maybe you should have had a little more respect for yourself. And others would respect you too. But when you don't respect yourself, don't expect others to respect yourself. Because let's explain to you fatties why fat isn't attractive and why most people think it's disgusting. It's biological and it's part of nature. You know what seeing someone morbidly obese does? It tells people that they're not healthy. It tells them they're not a viable candidate to produce and bear healthy, viable offspring. It also tells the body, naturally through biology and chemical responses, that that person can't carry their workload. The fact that they are not healthy, the body will naturally, the chemistry, the nature of human biology will reject a mate if it's not suitable. Kind of like how in the wild, mothers will abandon their young if they know there's a terminal illness and they can't save them, they'll abandon them and let them die. What gives you any fucking idea that you're above natural law? You aren't. You don't get to corrupt and twist natural law for your gluttonous shit and your excuses. If you don't like being weak, then change it. Otherwise, the world will consume you and we don't pity you. Because when you want to put your shit on others, that's where we step in and say, fuck you, it's not going down. So we wanted to talk about this today, everyone, and we're getting harsh with a reason because these fucking gluttonous fucking fat pigs need to hear their bullshit for what it is. We're sorry, everyone. No, actually, we're not sorry. Guess what? Morbidly obese, lazy, fat ass who expects everyone to take care of them isn't fucking cool, it's not popular, and it's not accepted by the majority. It's this fucking agenda that's pushing it all out, and it's disgusting, everyone. So we wanted to put this out today because we are so sick of hearing shit. And you know what? There's a lot of people out there that do say things as they need to be said, but there's a lot of shit. We don't ever hear people just call it fucking out and go off. And we're going off because we hope it pisses a lot of people off. We hope a lot of the fatties want to come to our channel and start shit because we'll tear them apart. Fuck you people who think you can pull shit and do what you do and expect everyone else to fucking tolerate it and to carry your weight. Sorry, we're going to drop that fucking weight on the ground and walk away and you can figure out how to carry it. Because guess what? No one handed us shit. 
No one gave a shit. And this world has always made it a point to make our life as extremely difficult as possible to fight us in every way. And we still manage to fight our way through it. So for those of us who have stood and done and fought our way through and came out on the other side, don't have any fucking sympathy for you lazy fucks out there who don't do it and don't take care of yourself. So why don't you think about that? Why don't you think about some of the experiences we see with these fat gluttonous pigs? And then you ask yourself, who's the real fucking asshole? Because our experiences tell a very different tale of these gluttonous pigs and what they do in real time. These fucking fatties can't afford to give up a meal to someone who's malnourished and homeless, but they can go in and fucking fill their cart full of shit that kills them and makes them even fatter. So fuck your excuses. shame within an inch of your life for the shit you pull maybe you wouldn't do it so with that being said until next time everyone with love and we'll speak to you all again soon